all gracious greetings, Thanksgiving family and guests. Welcome to another edition of Living Water for First Speakers. Yeah, here we are in the office of the Operations Director of St. Stephen Missionary Baptist Church, none other than Sister Shelley Shaw. Everyone give her a big hand. Good morning, Sister Shaw. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Outstanding. So you are the Operations Director here how long have you, because you're also a member of St. Stephen, how long have you been a member of St. Stephen? Member, well, technically, I've been coming since high school. Okay. I didn't officially join until I started working here 18 years ago. Wow, you're almost at 20 years. I am. So that was like 2007, maybe 2006, somewhere in 2004. There. Four. Four, okay, yeah. <laughs> wow, a long time. Very good. And so operations director, uh, what is that exactly? What are, you, what are you responsible for here at St. Stephen? Well, I am responsible for the daily logistics that happen on campus, whether it's at the church side, the school side, I just make sure everything runs smoothly and functionally. Awesome. Outstanding, I know that's a lot, that involves a lot. It does, every ministry, who all wants to use the facilities, who need a flyer written out, who need things to get out to all of the members, and I, who want to use vans, who want to use anything on the campus, I have to make sure it's in decent and in order so that there's no, you know, different kinds of, um, it, it just runs smoothly, basically. That's, that's, that's my job. Like you said, those logistics, and yes. we, we can see on your screen other skills that you have. You're also the webmaster as well, right? Working on Servants Arms website, yes. Doing a new one. Revamping, also part of my job. As well as St. Stephen's website. Yes. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So I would imagine in your job, uh, since this month or this time, we're talking about distractions on living water, I would imagine you have a distraction here or there while you're at work. Yes. Um, so with that, I just want to ask three questions. And I know you are prepared for these three questions, but we want your candid responses. Number one, how would you define the word distraction? Something that takes away from the main thing that you are doing. Excellent. So something that takes away from the main thing. Yes. Okay. And the second question, have you ever been distracted? Has something ever taken you away? From Every, you? Day. <laughs> Every day. Would that mean me coming in right now may be a distraction? Yes. <laughs> no, she doesn't mean that. <laughs> okay, so you have been distracted. So the third question, the obvious question, uh, what have you done? You've been successful in your career, so obviously you've had to get over some distractions. So how do you deal with distractions? How do you get back on track, if you would? Oh, that's a good question. Sometimes it's, I won't, wouldn't say as simple as prioritizing, but there's going to be times where you have to stop what you're doing in order to complete something else to pull back. And the way I just maneuver it is just I, you know, I map out my time and I say, okay, I have a certain amount of time of doing this. So if I go do something else real quick, I still have time to come back and focus on what I was originally doing. I just... Just time is my best friend, generally. Very good. I also notice you have up there Mark 9, 23. I do. All things being possible. Yes. So even to get back from a distraction is possible. possible. Exactly. <laughs> Man, outstanding. Well, thank you for allowing yourself to be distracted uh, <laughs> this morning and to share a little bit about what you do here at St. Stephen. Thank you for all that you do, the sacrifice as well. And uh, we pray that Mark 923 and prioritization, all those pieces that you added will help you to walk distraction free. Or if you do fall into distraction, we're able to work through them. Uh, so thank you, Sister Shaw. And uh, we are ready to uh, really put a book in on this subject of distractions. Uh, but next week, we're gonna try to wrap the ball around this one. Speak about the obvious, the obvious being the distraction of uh, sin. Continue to make God proud with all you say. Yeah.